Hey, thanks for stopping by. Happy holidays to everybody. I know everybody's crazy busy right now. One of the things I needed to do this morning is pull a maintenance on my inline fan. I've been crazy busy with this laser and it's time to see if I can get this cleaned out. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that inline fan out, pull a service on it, clean it up. It's really easy to do. You can see that I, in about 15, 20 minutes, you can pull it out, clean it, put it back in. It's not hard to do at all. The thing that I like about this particular inline fan is you don't have to disconnect any of the hoses. You've got two uh, clamps to disconnect and uh, pull the middle of the fan out and that's basically all the guts. Um, that all comes apart. You'll be able to clean that up nice and uh, put it back together, put it back on the wall and away you go. I will tell you that the cleaner you keep this, the better your airflow is gonna be. One of the things that you guys all know is that residue gets pretty sticky and it slows down your airflow. So one reason you want to keep that inline fan clean is number one, it's going to last a lot longer, but number two, your performance of your uh, fan in general is going to be better. So don't be bashful about cleaning that. I try to do it about once a month, but I've been so darn busy that it's been a couple of months since I've done it last. So let's get to it. I'll show you how to do it. It's easy. Stay tuned. So the first thing you're going to want to do once you get your laser away from the wall is go ahead and uh, disconnect the fan power supply from the laser. Um, that way, number one, there's no way it can turn on when you're uh, disassembling the fan. And you're going to have to uh, remove this so you can take it over to the, to the bench and uh, maintain it anyway. So it's just a matter of unplugging the fan motor. Okay, so... Each one of these silver bands has a, an attachment, and it looks like to me it's a Phillips type um, driver that you need to go ahead and take these bands loose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew these two bands and slide these rings off. And in doing that, you should be able to pull this housing out this way uh, to get access to the fan. Okay, so now we're gonna just slide it out to the side here. Like that and you can see that it definitely needs to be cleaned both sides pretty fuzzy so what I'll do is I'll take this out I'll, I'll blow some shop air through it wipe it down clean all the inside of all this see, see it's pretty dusty the cleaner you keep this fan the longer it's gonna last you so not hard to do I'll get it all cleaned up and then all I've got to do is slide this back in here put the clamps on and away you go Okay, I took some uh, compressed air and blew out the big stuff. And you can see that it's still, still pretty dirty in there. Um, there's some of this stuff that's just not gonna come out without uh, some LA Awesome and a, and a damp rag and just wipe all that stuff out of there, get it good and clean. Um, I think this fan is gonna last a good long time if you keep it clean. But if it gets too gunked up, um, you're gonna have a problem with it. You can see that this is where you're really gonna have to take some LA Awesome and get this smoke residue off of here. Okay, I took this um, little button connector, unscrewed it from the top of the fan, and this whole fan housing just lifts right out, and you can get access to the back of the fan uh, and the motor, and so you can really clean this thing up nice. Um, this really makes it easy to be able to clean it up. It looks like to me this housing comes off like that, so again, you're, you're able to get access to everything you need in this housing. So pretty easy to take apart. Okay, so I sprayed a little LA Awesome on this uh, fan blade and you can see it was plenty dirty. Got to get on the inside here. Be sure you coat the underside just get everything because this stuff really starts to build up. It's been about two months since I've serviced this fan and uh, in two months time it's gotten pretty grungy. I'll wipe it all off. Now on the back side of this fan none of this comes apart unlike this side that's nice and clean now. The back side of this 
is all molded and so you're not going to be able to take anything else apart. So the best way I've found to do that is just to get yourself uh, a clean rag, spray it down with LA Awesome and just kind of work in these uh, fan parts, these alluvial fan parts and make sure that you get them all wiped out good. You got to remember that the cleaner you get this fan, the airflow is going to be better, which really means you're going to have less um, smoke and that kind of build up in your laser. So it's important to take the time to try to get this as clean as you can and uh, it will improve your, your performance of your laser. So um, just get this the best you can. And after that, it's a matter of putting it back together and putting it back on the wall. Cleaning this side of the fan and you go to turn it over, just a word of caution, this actually will fall out if you let it. So this, this can fall out on the floor. So don't turn this over without holding on to this or you'll drop it on the floor. So just be careful of that when you're turning it over. But now you can see how nice and clean this inside of this fan housing is. Just with a little bit of LA Awesome, a little elbow grease, it looks like a new fan. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put it back together and get her installed. Okay, once you have the fan and it spins nice and true, make sure it's nice and it doesn't wobble or anything. Then you just go ahead and slide this with the taper facing you. Just want to make sure it's not rubbing on anything. Nice and smooth. And we'll go put it back on the wall. You can see that uh, the housing is pretty dirty. I've wiped it out once already. And so you just want to make sure you get the housing nice and clean, uh, similar to that. And while I don't use rags, I use like paper towels and soak it down with LA Awesome because this, this side, the exit of this fan really gets pretty nasty. And so just make sure it's getting there. And the other thing you're going to want to do is be careful when you're running your hands around here. These edges can be sharp, so just be careful there and don't cut yourself. Okay, I think we've got it clean. We'll go ahead and install the motor back in now. Okay, one last thing before we go ahead and put this motor in here. Just make sure you put both of these uh, these snap rings back on or whatever these are called back on your motor so when you slide it in, uh, you'll have your connections ready. The other thing you want to make sure you pay attention to is, is that these Phillips heads are facing the same direction. Uh, if you install them the opposite way, you won't be able to get uh, tighten them up because they'll be against the wall. The other thing that uh, pay attention to when you take this motor out of its housing is I remembered that the connection, the electrical connection was on the left side. If for some reason I would inadvertently put it on the right side, the fan would be backwards and it would actually be blowing cold air into the laser, not doing anything to exhaust the smoke. So you want to pay attention when you take your motor out of its housing when you go to clean it. Pay attention to whether this uh, electrical box is either on the left side or the right side. Make sure you install it the same way. And that way you don't have to worry about whether the airflow direction has been reversed or not. So we've got our two bands ready to go. I know that this is going to be on the left hand side when I install it. And let's get it in. Okay, one other thing to mention before we put this in here, I've got my electrical box on the left hand side. The other thing that you want to pay attention to is this arrow right here. This is showing you the airflow. So this is coming from the laser outside. So you want to pay attention to which direction this arrow is going. It should be always facing up. And we should be able to slide this in here, like so. And put on our snap rings. This is. One there, and one there, and 
The retaining rings are back on and tight. You just want to make sure you look around to make sure that they're on both flanges to make sure that it's secure. Okay, I've got both retaining rings on and tightened down. Make sure everything's nice and tight. And I think all we've got to do now is plug it in and uh, make sure she works okay. You'll notice too that this arrow matches this arrow. Want to make sure that that happens. Otherwise your fan's going to work backwards. All right, the last thing to do is go ahead and plug your fan back into the laser and your power back in. Pull your laser back to the wall and you're ready to rock and roll for another month or so. Well, as you can see, it's not too tough to pull a maintenance on that inline fan and it'll keep you up and going. I hope this information was helpful. As always, if you'd please like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Merry Christmas.